and obviously you're a flawed guy, you make mistakes, but, you know, actually getting your take on it is eye-opening. You know, a lot of people had no idea what was actually going on with the vast majority of those situations in that React event. Um, and now they do. And they're like, oh, shit, wish I knew this six years ago. You know, I was, oh, actually, someone actually said to me, wish I knew this, like, when it happened. Because at the time, I basically hated you because of it. A lot of people don't understand the impact of that actual year, 2015, in my life. Uh, how messed up it was. Like, I went from being very positive, very prominent content creator on the internet um, to within one year between the DDoS attacks, the swatting, my YouTube channel being completely and utterly destroyed by false copyright claims, the, 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 the defamation uh, that I got from my former friends... Everything all at once in, in one year's time. And, of course, that led to everything else behind the scenes breaking down for me. You know, my personal life was also in shambles. And, and it really was like I went from a high... Like I, I, what I used to say back in the day was that my whole ride, my life at that point, was waves of positivity. And I was like, ride the wave, man. Right now we're doing real good on YouTube. Positive rock wave. This was like... I, I went from from here all the way as low as possible, like like all the way down, zoo, 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 you know. Um, yeah, and people don't realize how how much of an impact that year, but in particular that video had on me. Like, I'm talking thousands of people who were like longtime fans and supporters saw the video and immediately believed 100 percent of it and said, "I'm never." dealing with this guy ever again he's toxic and then they left you know um and that sucks but I feel like I did the right thing waiting as long as I did despite the fact that I basically took the bullets for six and a half years you know um I feel like because I did it now and the way that I did it trying to tackle it as much actual information as possible and admitting to the things that I know I did wrong that it's basically going to show a, a more bigger picture you know, there's no villain in the situation. It's mistakes here and mistakes here combined just become a big jumble mess of mistakes, right? I think it's much better to, uh, to to look at it that way. And by the way, I don't think I would have been able to look at it that way back then anyway. Like, I, the kind of person I was, the kind of very defensive person that I was back then, I never would have been able to look at that situation in that manner at that time. I wasn't that kind of person. Now I am. You see, it, it took many years of introspection, of, of having a different kind of a relationship with people on the internet, uh, understanding that this kind of actual more meaningful, meaningful relationship could happen uh, and, and change me. It really did. I feel like I'm a changed dude from the last five years of being a full-time streamer as opposed to me just making this content offline or, or streaming and ignoring my audience. Um, I really feel like I've grown. And of course, one of the major, major, major things that changed me as a person is meeting my wife. You know, and having this relationship behind the scenes that's meaningful, so meaningful to me that for the better, has changed me and made me a better person, you know? So th a lot of things have changed. And I think that's come, that's now come through in this React project that I did. And I'm, I'm still, every day I'm getting messages. I mean, I say every day, it's only been two days, but you know, usually I don't get any messages. Usually it's just, I just put out my streams or whatever, that's it, disconnect. Now it's like, I'm getting posts, I'm getting emails, I'm getting all the, you know, comments on the videos and they're like, wow. This is like one of the best. Someone said to me, it's the best thing you've ever done. And I'm like, I don't think drama is the best thing I've ever done. Like, I would never believe that. I would think <clears throat> a great playthrough with a bunch of laughs and silliness or, you know, a bunch of uh, really great, uh, a podcast where we have a great discussion. You know what I'm saying? That's the meaningful stuff to me. I mean, is it meaningful to go back and, and do that project? Yes. I felt like it had to be done at some point. You have to move on from the past, and that was the way to do it. But I don't feel like that's the best, one of the best things I've ever done. Just because just because something is done well, doesn't mean it's the best thing that I've done. You know what I mean? Like I don't hold it in that regard. To me, that was like that wasn't work. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> like like right now, I do a podcast for you guys. We have fun interactions. We talk. This is my job. It's my hobby too. Like I love doing this. But this is definitely like a piece of my job. Like I don't feel like. That marathon on Saturday was my job. You know what I mean? It was something personal.
Luca, I don't know anything about basketball. And you know that. <laughs> okay. Also, 